Space Explorers in between the lines in three, two, one, go. Here we go with qualifying round number four of 70. 4652 firing out of the gate here. 3974 out of Bishop McDevitt trying to place a hatch panel onto their cargo bay. Judging by the reaction of the crowd, looks like they were successful as the sand store period has now ended. 5181 looking to squirt some cargo into the cargo bay. Seems to be a popular spot by these teams so far. 4285 holding onto a piece of cargo as well, looking to place it inside their cargo bay as 43-73 looks to grab a hatch from the human player zone. Krypton Cougars moving quite efficiently over there on the far side of the field, placing another hatch panel onto the rocket. If you can fill that entire rocket, you walk out with a ranking point. It's a difficult thing to do, but 43-73 and the Krypton Cougars at 25-39 look like they're making a go at it. It's 39-74 and 46-52 on the blue side. Looking to grab two more hatch panels as well. Forty-two eighty-five looking to place some cargo into their cargo bay as well. With 63 seconds remaining, still a very close game of 25 to 19. Both of these alliances looking to secure as much points as possible for that 30 second period. As 25 39 lifts all the way up and places cargo in that top shelf of the rocket. It looks like they are not finished yet. Forty-three seventy-three. Looking to place some cargo into the bay as well. As twenty-five thirty-nine in the last thirty seconds has now positioned themselves. It looks like to try and climb to that level three. Oh, looks like they might get up there. Fifty-one eighty-one from LaSalle and forty-three seventy-three out of Abington. The Red Alliance looks to be making their way onto the Hab, with the Blue Alliance looking to secure themselves a spot as well. With five seconds remaining, three seconds, two, one. And that's the thing about these games this year, folks. A lot of us the last couple of years have been getting used to these high scoring 200, 300 point matches. This game's a little more low scoring, but scores are gonna seem to be much closer. Teams have to be very precise in what they choose to do in that two minute and 30 second period. <laughs> Looks like our scores are already up. The Red Alliance pulls out the win with 44 points. With 25-39 securing first place after three ranking points to the Red Alliance. The Blue Alliance with 25. Still so much time left in this competition. Teams are just going to try and build on this, get better and better.